What's up? This is going to be talk one, two, three. Um, in about ten minutes or so, games are going to be starting on ESPN, and I'll be watching them. I'm going to make a few videos. Um, now, for four teams especially, this is the most important night of the season. For some other teams, it's affecting how they'll be in the playoffs. But for these four teams that are involved in the wild card hunt today, four teams are tied. Two teams in the National League, two teams in the American League. The fact that we are looking at the Red Sox and the Braves having one of the biggest collapses in history and the Rays and Cardinals, two of the most unexpected teams that could be going to the playoffs, are tied with them right now. now let's talk a little bit about the Red Sox collapse here. The Red Sox have had an absolute terrible month. Their starting pitching has been an ERA right around 8. Uh, John Lackey has not helped that cause at all. The signing of John Lackey has been one of the worst in recent years. When they first signed him, it seemed like a pretty good deal. A lot of people thought it was a steal. Uh, you know, it was a great deal for Boston. It was a great deal. Just a fantastic deal. It's turned into be one of the worst deals, free agent deals, in the past few years. Uh, Sean Figgins being another one of those. Um, but John Lackey has absolutely been terrible this year. He'll, he'll lose and he'll be blamed on his teammates. He's really pissed off all the time. Uh, he needs to get to that what he was as an angel because it's not working out for him. Um, you know, Tim Wakefield has had a decent year at best, getting 200 wins. That's kind of the most important uh, part of for him. At this point in his career, he's more of a reliever than a starter, but the Red Sox have had him as a starter, and he's been, you know, decent. Um, I've had a lot of guys that have had a spot start. Uh, John Lester has had a solid year. Obviously, it doesn't help having Clay Buckles out of the rotation. And the Red Sox, uh, you know, they go and get Eric Bedard, but... You know, they needed to get Dan, Dan Heron. You know, I think they were, really, they were really close to getting him, and they didn't want to include uh, that player to be named later because of the fact that his medical record. But you're the Red Sox. You need that pitching help. You know, look where they are right now. They were very close to acquiring a pitcher just to start tomorrow, giving up uh, prospects just for a pitcher that's going to start one day and can't start in the playoffs if you make them. Uh, they don't do a trade. Um you know, it's their own fault that they haven't got the pitching help that they needed, but when, you know, they spent so much money elsewhere, they're kind of tied up in the rotation that they have right now. Uh, you know, it's obviously not helped with the struggles and the injuries of past few years of Dice K and all those other guys, but to put a, field, a team on the field that consists of two major free agent signings this year, Adrian Gonzalez and Carl Crawford, uh, and not win the wild card at least is absolutely ridiculous. They they have a high, such a high payroll compared to the Rays. They've been in the ALEs for years. Uh, you know, going and getting Adrian Gonzalez has been great for them. Carl Crawford has been not good year at all for him. Um, we'll see how he does this today and possibly tomorrow in the playoffs. But you know, this team that's out in the field, they are not playing to full capa uh, capability, and it's really it's not the offense. And if it wasn't for Jacoby Ellsbury, they would be so screwed. He has saved the past few games for them, getting home runs. The offense have struggled at times, but really, it's just all about starting pitching for them. It's kind of sad that you're looking at a team like Boston that has such a high payroll, but can't but can't put together a really good starting rotation. Uh, you know, obviously, when everyone's healthy, John Lester, Clay Buckholtz. And uh, John Lackey can be a great um, starting rotation for the top three. Um, but the fact that John Lackey is not pitching good at all. And then, you know, when Dice K was in his prime, of course. Uh, and so, you know, it's really been a struggle for the Red Sox. And, and Josh Beckett, there. you can't forget about him. So uh, the fact that, you know, they've had some injuries and the guys not performing well. The fact that the Red Sox are even tied at this point is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Red Sox and the Braves both have kind of in this depressed state of mind at this point. You wouldn't want to be on a team that have gave away a 10-game lead in the last month to teams that lower payroll. Um, I don't know if they call them lower payroll than the Braves, but uh, the fact that they were so unexpected. The Rays were way out of contention. And they were expected in the beginning of the year, they were expected to get fourth or fifth place in the East. You know, having Carl Crawford, Dan Wheeler, um, and a few other, and Carlos Pena, and a few other type A free agents leave, you know, and Rafael Soriano, and you know, all that. A few other free agents leave. The fact that the Rays are actually, you know, a win away from possibly going to the wild card and possibly going to the playoffs, excuse me, is absolutely amazing. But what's even more amazing is the fact that the Boston Red Sox have failed this bad in September when they have this big of lead on the Rays and a few other teams. Now, you know, for the, the National League, the Braves, it's even more surprising. It's even, you know, it's even surprising, actually. Um, the fact that the Cardinals, if you've been watching them all year, this is not a dominant Cardinals team. 
This is a team that goes out there and tries every day. Some days will lose to bad teams on just unlucky reasons. Closers giving up a ton of runs. Anyone at the beginning of the year is Ryan Franklin. We've gone through like 20 different closers. Uh, it's just a modge podge of a team that if we barely get into the wild card, it's going to be barely. I mean, we were 10 out a month and a few days ago. To be right here at this moment is absolutely amazing for your Cardinal fans. So absolutely be blessed at that. Uh, the fact that, you know, national TV and the last day of regular season that actually means something and not let's prepare for 2012 is amazing. It feels great. Uh, the fact that there's excitement. If we win tonight against the Houston Astros and the Phillies uh, can beat the Braves, it will be one of the most exciting nights ever. The fact that we could make a huge comeback and get to the playoffs be awesome. For Boston, I'm sorry for you Boston fans. It must suck. But, you know, I can really see a positive surge with the Rays. It, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to win this wild card. Um, but it would be talked about for so long if Boston loses this. You know, you don't want to be Boston right now. Not in a good situation. If you're the Rays, you know, if you win, that'd be great. If you lose, you know, you got really close and it's disappointing. But it would be a much harder loss for the Boston Red Sox than the Rays. And the same goes with the Braves. But the Boston Red Sox have absolutely had a terrible September. You can kind of see it coming with the starting rotation. Injured, uh, plagued, um, just not solid all year, really. And uh, obviously having Clay Bokolts out hurts them. John Lackey performing terribly hurts them also. Uh, Dice K off and on hurts them. Josh Beckett off and on hurts them. Um, you know, John Lester has been one of the most solid pitchers for Boston, and he will be starting tonight. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Let me talk. One, two, three.